Hello, now we discuss about what is meant by free electron, bound electron, hole, electron current, and hole current. We will see the differences between them. Okay. So, first we will look into the energy band diagram of a semiconductor where the energies are plotted on y axis and the energies of electrons, otherwise, simply they are called as energy levels. Energy levels are discrete in nature so that we are indicated with the lines. And no two electrons can occupy the same energy level. So now we will see what is meant by free electron, what is meant by bound electron. Free electron is nothing but electron in conduction band. Electron in conduction band is called as free electron. Electron in conduction band is free electron. And electron in valence band is valence electron or it is also called as bound electron because it is bounded by its parent atom so the electron in valence band is called as valence electron or bound electron simply the electron in valence band is nothing but electron in the outermost orbit of that parent atom so the electrons are nothing electrons in valence band are electrons present in the outermost orbit of atoms since the outermost electrons are all still being controlled by the parent atom, they are called as bound electrons or valence electrons. So, now we will see what is meant by a hole. Okay. So, to understand the whole concept, first of all, we must know at T is equal to 0 degrees, intrinsic semiconductor. Take the example of intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductor okay, at T is equal to 0 degree Kelvin where the conduction band is empty and valence band is full. Conduction band is empty means no free electron is available. That means all are empty energy levels. Empty energy levels in conduction band. All energy levels in conduction band are empty at T is equal to 0 degree Kelvin and valence band is fill means all M energy levels all energy levels are occupied by electrons are occupied by electrons that means valence band is full ok so let we are increasing temperature as temperature increases ok some electrons are going to be gets excited from the valence band and they will reach conduction band if you apply sufficient amount of energy. So let we assume one electron got sufficient energy so that it can move from valence band to conduction band. Okay. One electron moved from moved from valence band to conduction band. So what is meant by this one? One electron is moving from valence band to conduction band. That is nothing but one covalent bond has broken. One covalent bond. One covalent bond has broken. Because of one covalent bond has broken, electron from valence band, it can reach the conduction band. Whenever this happens, then you will get one free electron. One free electron and one vacancy is going to be created vacancy means empty energy level okay so in conduction band previously it was all empty energy levels now an electron is came and that is occupying the lowest energy level possible because always electrons occupies the lowest energy levels only now as the electron is moved towards conduction band there is this vacancy is created in the valence band so now valence band will be consisting of full except one empty energy level. That empty energy level is called as hole. Hole means empty energy level. Empty energy level in valence band. Remember this one. Okay. Whereas valence electron is filled energy level. Valence electron means 
filled energy level that is occupied energy level if the electron is present that is nothing but filled energy level filled energy level represents valence band okay filled energy level in conduction band represents free electron okay now i think you have understood the difference free electron means electron in conduction band valence electron means electron in valence band and hole means empty energy level in valence band okay now we will see what is meant by electron current and hole current electron current means okay movement of this electron current movement of electrons that is strictly speaking free electrons electrons in conduction band movement of electrons in conduction band results in some current that current is nothing but electron current electron current means movement of electrons in conduction band that is the movement of electrons movement of free electrons movement of charge carriers results in current whenever you are considering free electrons only that current is called as electron current okay now hole current means can we say that one movement of holes in valence band will result in a current that is called as hole current that concept is wrong because hole means empty energy level empty energy level is fixed it cannot move so hole by its nature it cannot move hole means it is not a physical quantity it's empty energy level it is not a charge particle actually strictly speaking okay empty energy level but it has taken as positive okay it has taken as positive because valence electron is treated as neutral and whenever valence electron is moved into conduction band free electron is going to be treated as negatively charged and the vacancy created in valence band is treated as positively charged okay when again again the electron is coming back to valence band okay then it occupies that energy level then it becomes again neutral okay so hole means empty energy level it cannot move then what is meant by hole current hole current is going to be results since electron in valence band can move okay that you can understand from this diagram so look at this diagram this diagram is related to okay electrons in valence band this diagram is related to electrons in valence band that is nothing but movement of movement of bound electrons or valence electrons in valence band only we are considering only valence band in valence band we have assumed that one one electron has moved from valence band to conduction band so this is previously this is valence band which consisting of eight energy levels and those eight energy levels are filled right now one electron got excited so that it has moved into conduction band it becomes free electron now okay so this is called as vacancy that is empty energy level which we are calling it as hole so whenever there is a vacancy is present the electron try to occupy that energy level so that the electron in valence band that is second electron now second electron will try to occupy this energy level empty energy level so this second will take that place by that time there is a vacancy created in the second position now third electron is try to occupy this vacancy by that time the vacancy created third position fourth electron is going to be occupying this third position so that fourth may get vacancy so as the electron now you see valence electron is moving as the valence electron is moving from right to left and hole is looks like okay the vacancy is going to moving from left to right so strictly speaking hole is not moving valence electrons are moving thereby vacancy empty energy levels are going to be created at other places that looks like empty energy level is moving but strictly speaking valence electrons are moving from right to left that indicates it gives assumption that hole is moving from right to left so now we can define hole current is nothing but opposite direction of current 
caused by movement of valence electrons in valence band or simply electrons in valence band. So now we will define pole current. Pole current is opposite direction of opposite direction of current caused by current caused by movement of movement of electrons in valence band so movement of electrons will cause a current and that current if you are looking it in opposite direction of that current is treated as pole current okay so electron current means movement of electrons in conduction band pole current means movement of electrons in valence band which causes a current the opposite direction of that current is treated as pole current okay so this is the basic difference between electron current and pole current electron free electron bound electron and holes